If you are tired of waiting for your renders, then you probably want a solution that makes it less painful. So we're gonna show you guys some of the best Blender add-ons, which will essentially let you render faster and optimize your scenes. We're gonna start with K-Cycles, which is a highly tuned custom build of cycles that includes real-time viewport lighting and effects for Blender, in addition to ultra lighting, post effects, ultra denoiser, camera settings, multi-camera renders, and camera override. For the past few years, this add-on has been a game changer. Many users have expressed their satisfaction with it, and it has been used by many Blender users as a substitute for the Blender Cycles engine. The add-on has a number of features that are either not present in Cycles or work better than the ones that are. For instance, it has the best render performance for viewport and final renders, and its ultra denoising feature works inside Blender without the need for the compositor, providing excellent performance while avoiding complex nodes in the compositor. Not only that, but K-Cycles is more user-friendly, and it is more convenient than the standard Cycles engine because it is optimized for optics, CUDA, and so on, making it absolute beast of a tool when it comes to rendering inside Blender. In other words, K-Cycles can serve as a good substitute for Blender's default cycles because it provides better features and it allows you to render faster. K-Cycles is an absolute beast, but there is another way to render faster, which is by managing your renders. Let's take a look at RenderSat, one of my favorite add-ons of today's video, which is from Polygonic, who are well known for their premium add-ons. This tool won't particularly and directly speed up your renders as the previous add-on, but it will help you better manage your renders and it will give you more control over the final render, which at the end will save you some considerable time during the rendering process. This add-on has many features, including post-render actions, batch rendering, contacts from viewport or per camera, and much more. Furthermore, it automatically saves all the check passes, which can be used to extract some data like normals or depth, as well as split rendered images into separate categories like colors, in addition to direct and direct light for individual editing. Generally speaking, render set is very easy to use and has a simple interface that is easy to understand and navigate even for beginners, which makes this tool one of the best and the most convenient tools when it comes to rendering and productivity, especially if you're working under a deadline. So RenderSet is fantastic with its features and tricks, but the next add-on has one simple trick that will help you prove your renders and speed it up significantly. I'm talking about Turbo Tools, which is an add-on that allows you to render at lower samples but still have decent quality and results. This add-on combines some of the features we're gonna talk about in this video, allowing you to choose the required quality and speed while automatically determines the optimal sample number to achieve the desired result for both still renders and animations. Adding to that, it includes a bunch of other features that let you speed up the post-production process. For example, it offers four denoising modes that you can choose from, and they are draft, medium, height, and ultra and each one has different processing time and accuracy. You also have a choice between two cycle speedup options, which are Prevent Fireflies, and this one lowers the possibility of fireflies and may result in a significant render time reduction. And the other one is Optimize HDRI, which optimizes the importance map and may result in faster renders and less RAM usage. In addition, the add-on offers numerous other features that we won't cover in this video because doing so would make the video extremely long. Now, if you want to use a tool that is super focused on denoising, then this add-on called Super Image Denoiser is gonna be for you, and it allows you to denoise your rendered images efficiently. You can by the way already do this in Blender, I mean vanilla Blender, by checking the denoise box before rendering. However, most of us know that this feature in Blender is pretty much useless and it doesn't give you satisfying results. And it can take a lot of details from your image and it may also make it look flat. However, this add-on produces better results because it can retain almost all the details of the renders and processes more quickly without sacrificing ease of use. As a result, it can be a great replacement 
for the blenders built in the noise feature. Furthermore, this add-on offers much greater optimization options, allowing you to select between SID, SID Temporal, and Optics Temporal denoise types, as well as standard, high, and super quality settings. This determines the pace at which the image is gonna be processed by the denoiser and how much detail is gonna be preserved. In order to enhance the output without sacrificing performance, you can also choose which render passes to use for denoising. Currently, there are four render passes available, which are emission, transmission, environment, and volumetric, and by default, the glossy and diffuse surfaces will always be denoised. Now, you might be asking how this will help you render quickly. Well, the simple answer is that you can render at a lower quality and sample count at first, then denoise it and improve the quality once again, which will save you a ton of time without having to sacrifice quality. But there are other features that can help you improve your renders that come up with this add-on that we can cover all in this video. From the same developer, there is a second add-on that is called Super Fast Render, and it is cool in everything but it wasn't updated since Blender 3.0, so I didn't want to include it in this video. The bad news is that the developer has announced recently that these couple of add-ons will not be updated anymore, but the good news is, instead, they will be all combined in one add-on package called Pigeon Toolback. The package will include several other add-ons, which are developed by the same guy, and they will be updated frequently. I think this is gonna be a great move because you're gonna get access to a bunch of different add-ons and tools at the same time in one place, like some of his best add-ons in one place. And the best part is, it comes with a much lower price, which I think is gonna be the best he can offer for the time being. I'm not sure if this step is gonna be great for everybody, especially who purchased the add-ons before. So the decision goes back to you guys. Now we're gonna talk about a different add-on when it comes to speeding up your renders. I'm talking about Render Boost add-on. And it's gonna be great if you wanna speed up your animation renders. This add-on called Render Boost reduces rendering time significantly without sacrificing visual quality. It does this by creating new frames from your current image sequence using frame interpolation techniques. Also, by utilizing GPU acceleration to speed up interpolation times significantly. The add-on can greatly improve your renders with the enhanced denoising and advanced upscaling, resulting in a decent visual quality. I believe that this add-on is really valuable, especially for people who create a lot of animations and don't want to wait around for rendering to finish. I have personally used the add-on for a few projects, and it was able to finish rendering at 30% to 50% faster rates compared to the standard rendering, which I think is gonna be excellent for most people. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.